Like many people, I'm sure uh, you have lots of quizzes and tests that you've given students over the years. And this one here that I'm showing is an example of one that I used to provide for my students. And what I did with this was it was a Word document. I uploaded it to Google Drive and then converted it to a Google Doc. I didn't really change very much after that except for the fact that I got rid of my numbers on it. So this question used to be question one and then this was for students to fill in the blank here. Um, here was question two and then you see here I'm putting the answers underneath my questions. All right, so if I were to scroll on down here, you could take a look at that. One add-on that is just outstanding is called G-Format. And what it does is it takes this test that I created eight years ago and within a Word document, and it's letting me take it and put it into a form. Here's how it works. I've got G-Format for Docs already added. Now keep in mind this add-on goes into a Google Doc so remember that. And if you didn't have it of course what you know that we need to do is go down to get add-ons and search for it. Whenever you search for it it'll come up just click on where it says free over here at the side. Okay so I'm going to click Generate Form, and it is very, very fast the way that it generates this form. Okay, so now it's giving me this message. It's telling me that it has generated this form. It's also generated the responses sheet, and then it's um, taken my answers that were provided underneath there. So you, I'll go back and we'll take another look at that. So now I can use Flubaroo with it and then it gave me a summary of these all in an email. Okay, So notice here where I have my question, next line is my answer. So keep that in mind. What I want to do is put name, enter, have a couple of sp enters right in here, question, enter, answer, enter twice, question, enter, answer, enter twice, and so on. Okay, so now let's go and look at what that form looks like. It actually put it in my drive uncategorized, but it's called plant test. So I'm going to scroll down here until I find it. Here it is. So my plant test First question, name, basic needs of plants are, so on, right here. It looks like it did cut out a couple of my questions that I had. Right here, this one about Bob, that was a lot of information, and it cut that out. So that's good for us to know, so that way we can plan for that. And then I'm going to go back here and look where I've got my plant test responses and my questions are all in here. And so I'm ready to install the Fluber add-on right here in this. So I think that you can agree this is a huge time saver for many, many teachers. Now we don't have to rewrite all of those quizzes and tests that we used to have that were in a Word document. Now we can just upload them to Google Drive and put this add-on. It's going to save us a ton of time.